Hey guys, Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I want to do a bit of a dive into the input section of the Reason Mixer. I'm actually going to shrink everything here so that we can just focus on this section here to start with. Um, so I know a lot of people have been confused. What is this diagram here? DIN EQ insert. Um, and what are all these buttons doing here? Insert pre DIN post. So that's basically the signal order that you have for your plugins in the mixer. How your inserts, which are going to be whatever is in here, you know, your guitar rig, your reverb, um, assuming you're not using sends. And then it would go to the dynamic section of the mixer, compressors and gates, and then EQ and then insert, as it says right now, uh, which would be to the EQ, or to the reverb. But sometimes that's not what you want. There's, this is not the video to talk about whether you do dynamics before EQ or dynamics after EQ. Um, I prefer generally to cut, if I'm, if I'm doing something complicated, like cut some frequencies with one EQ, then do a compressor, then do an EQ, after the compressor to actually shape the sound to add. Um, and that just gets a better boost. And then you could send it to the effects, but actually I often prefer to have the effects in there first, depending on what they are. Like distortion I'd like to have in before the EQ um, and then to shape the EQ. So this basically allows you to do all of that. Um, so if you do insert pre, the way it goes is first it'll go through the insert. So it would be like, you know, you could put your guitar amp, your distortion on there. And then you go to dynamics, which would be compression, and then you do EQ. And then it would come to the levels here. Or you could do separately dynamic after the EQ. So if you wanted to just, you know, do some cutting so that like, for example, the lowest frequency of the kick drum didn't affect things um, and that's also kind of what this button will do but I'm not gonna get into that button um, but if you do the dynamics after the EQ um, that lets you kind of that basically re-emphasizes the cuts and boosts that you've made and makes that even stronger and then you go to the inserts and finally you can go inserts EQ dynamics and like, there are plenty of times when you'd want to do this as well. If you've got, like, a guitar sound that you really are looking to dial in, for example. Some people, like, let me show you this scenario, actually. Insert, no, sorry. EQ, no. Insert EQ dynamics. And so, like, if you've got a reverb Usually, you want to have dynamics before the reverb um, because that way you control the sound and then you get a natural reverb on it. And this way, if you have dynamics after the reverb, for example, it gives you this really compressed reverby sound. So the dynamics are emphasizing the reverb instead of the underlying channel. And then you can use EQ to shape that. And there is totally a time and a place for this layout. What I'm trying to say basically, in a nutshell, is that this Reason Mixer gives you a lot of powerful opportunities to shape your signal chain. And I'm just gonna give you a concrete example of that right here. So we'll just create a new mix channel and basically I'll show you what it would look like. So you're gonna go to Reason Devices, we'll do the equalizer, compressor, and an RV700. And so basically what you're doing is just changing the order of these three plugins, but you're doing it based on the built-in power of the mixer, because the mixer comes with an EQ, and the mixer comes with a compressor hardwired into it. Now by default, they're turned off, but if you wanna use those, then what those buttons I was showing you earlier do is basically move the order of these things around, like so. The 
compressor's dynamics, the EQ is the equalizer, and the insert would be the reverb or anything else you put into it. Now, right now, because there is an equalizer, a reverb, and a compressor as inserts on this channel, um, if you look at the mixer, um, really what would be happening is these, this compressor would go on, and then this EQ here would go on, and then it would go to the insert section, and this EQ would go on, and then this reverb would go on, and then this compressor would go on, because these are all included in the inserts. Um, so that's all I really wanted to say about this. Um, this is like not something that you necessarily need to worry about, but I know people like to go deeper, and this is absolutely a way of getting more out of reason and better shaping your sounds. So if you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more great reason tips. Thanks.